officer. So back over to you, you are why. Sports officer. The sports officer promotes and enhances the sports offering at York. They lead the sports committee and strive to make sports welcoming and accessible for everyone. Good evening, I'm Matthew Keel and I'm joined by Ben Clark, who is running for the position of sports officer. Ben, welcome to the studio. Hello, thank you for having me. Now, our first question, uh, can you just briefly introduce yourself and explain why you want to be the sports officer? Yep, yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm Ben Clark. I've uh, been doing sports at university for the last all three years I've been here. Um, I never really was into sports before I came to university and then I sort of realised how many sports there were and how many options there were for you to do while you were studying. And that got me really interested. So I did some quite niche sports, something called canoe polo, which is an awesome sport, but yeah, incredibly niche, but enabled through the university. And now I'm mostly a cyclist and a skier and a climber. Um, and, that, and those sort of passions and what I got out of them is what I want to give back to sort of people in the role. So you are currently the union sports treasurer this yes. year. And so you have an understanding of the financial comings and goings of York Sport. Mm. Uh, in your manifesto, you promise a sports scholarship scheme. Is this financially viable when you also want to keep the sports facilities open for longer? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, essentially, sports scholarships, I'm hoping to more focus of coming out of U2 finances. So a few months ago, uh, Pierre Roger, the current president, announced that a lot of the cost of living support funds hadn't been utilised very much to the point where there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds that are ring-fenced but unable to be spent because they're already assigned to other projects. And what I want to do is kind of make sure that some of those funds don't just get lost back into sort of the university pool. And one way I want to do this is through my sports scholarships where students can apply for not significant amounts of money, you know, hundreds of pounds we're talking, maybe, maybe thousands depending on what they need, but they can get help for competing where their sports clubs can't help them. Because also as the treasurer, I've realised how little money a lot of sports clubs have. And so I'm the, as I'm the one who sort of has to give them more money when they run out, it's happening more and more as the finances of clubs are getting tighter and tighter. So I think there is a space where, stu where individual students need help that the clubs can't provide. Um, and I think a scholarship would be a perfect place to sort of do that. So just to confirm the money that you were looking to put forward for scholarships and things would be coming out of USU funds that haven't been used in the past? Yes. So ex yeah, existing USU funds um, haven't been used. OK. And you also promised to increase funding so that sports get facilities when they need them in your manifesto. Yeah. So how will you prioritise which sports receive funding first, with some sports obviously working with larger budgets than others? Yeah. So a large part of this comes from the membership numbers and also the sort of costs of their equipment and their travel. So some clubs go away an awful lot um, and do a, a, an away match almost every week, whereas other clubs will be mostly based within York, but they might have really expensive equipment. Part of my job currently is kind of trying to work out who gets what money to make it fair. And what I want to do is trying to make that system a bit more efficient, because I think there are quite a few inefficiencies and a bit of like bureaucratic tangling going on that really don't need to be there. Um, and especially as we move further and further into an internet age, there's a few things that are almost a little bit archaic um, that we could fix. And then I hope that would unlock some money and at least get it to clubs quicker than it currently is, because currently it's quite an arduous task to sort of give, give the clubs the money. Elsewhere in your manifesto, you promised to work with the charity White Ribbon, is it White Ribbons of Rib Ribbons? White Ribbon, yes. White Ribbon, to tackle gender discrimination in sports. Yeah. What form will your charity campaign take, other than the training that you mentioned for leadership, and what is the current issue with gender in sports? So, it's actually pretty terrible. Um, there was a I'm already an ambassador White Ribbon, and a lot of the material I get through sort of gives me up-to-date statistics. And there was a statistic from last year that six in ten women have faced discrimination or harassment within gym spaces. And I just think that is terrible. Um, everyone should be able to work out without facing discrimination or harassment. And I think sometimes sports discrimination can be almost brushed under the rug. And I want to make sure that's never the case um, at York. And I want to, with my campaign, sort of re educate people. Um, I think there's a bit of a weakness sometimes in that men can't always feel like they're being t spoken to. And I want to get them involved from the very start so that we focus on sort of preventative education and changing mindsets so that discrimination doesn't actually occur in the end because men have sort of better perspectives on it. And would this extend to non-binary people as well, considering White Ribbon focuses solely on women's violence and actions and harassment against men? Yes. So I think White Ribbon has basically essentially has the, the, the tools I need to... Um, take in my like, to 
to, to implement this this um, campaign, but I want to extend it to sort of non-binary students as well because I think it's also important. Thank you very much, Ben. There. Sorry, yeah, I'm going to have to you. cut you off there. We're no returning worries. to Studio Red for an interview with the next candidate shortly.